pretty special. Sorry for Nigel, but uh, not really sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, he he obviously took three or four races less, um, but nevertheless, uh, it has been an incredible year for us, um, an incredible journey, and yeah, it's not yet over. So we've got another bit, uh, another chapter tomorrow, and um, yeah, I'm very happy. I mean, it's it's hard to believe we. I didn't feel that happy yesterday, but this morning I was much happier with the car, how it felt, and it was more to my liking, let's say, and uh, I was able then to, to go from there, improve, and throughout qualifying, getting familiar with the track, you know, with the conditions, and I uh, was very happy with the runs I had in Q3, especially the last lap. Um, you know, it's, how can I explain? You obviously know what you can do, what you should do, and which time you should be able to achieve. Um, but when you cross the line, it doesn't matter if you see the time on your dash or if you have a look or not. You really know that that has, you know, that's it. Or there was a little bit left here and there. And uh, yeah, I was very happy with the lap I did today, and I don't think there was was much left. So you know, that gives extreme satisfaction and. And then, you know, the only bit that can top this is when your engineer comes on the, Rocky comes on the radio, on my radio, and uh, tells us, or tells me that we've done it. And uh, especially if, you know, you and others and more others <laughs> uh, kept telling or keep, kept talking about, you know, the possibility and so on. So to be honest, we didn't really think about that going into qualifying and going into the weekend because I think generally if you try to set your target um, trying to beat a certain number or you know beat statistics I think you always will you will always fail so a good thing that we didn't and now we're still here so that's good. I think we're going to see a tremendous battle tomorrow. Mark's desperate to get this victory and secure second in the championship. Jensen thrives in the rain and the dry and I can't imagine you're sick of winning even this season. What do you think we've got in store for a final race of the season? A lot. I mean, as you mentioned, a lot of potential for a good race. So, uh, yeah, I mean, last race I didn't finish, so I want to see checkered flag. I think, uh, yeah, the car feels feels great. We start from the front. And, you know, I think this place has always been different, special in many ways, um, and delivered great races, even without DRS. So for tomorrow, I think the DRS zone is not a big help, but it could, you know, um, lead to another overtaking, you know, maybe later on in the lap, etc. But yeah, with the rain on the way, we don't know how how much it will be, when and where exactly. It's a pretty big place, Sao Paulo. So uh, yeah, definitely there's a big chance. But car-wise, you know, these days there's not much you can do. So. I don't think we have a rain setup, but I wouldn't say that we have a setup that is not suitable for rain conditions. So, should be okay.